Park last night. You know, in my gut, I think that we all, well, in your gut too, I mean, everybody near the end, all the prognosticators and predictors and all that, basically came together and said, Andy Vidak's going to win this thing. But it was a slamming margin. He did very, very well. And he joins us right now in the KMJ studios, and he brought me a giant load of cherries, which are out of this world. And, uh, you know, that'll, that'll get you anywhere you want to go in this radio station, brother, whatever you want. Those are so good. <laughs> How you feeling today? Feel real good. Yeah? Yeah. Very good. You better, because the battle before you is going to be the monster battle of the state. Indeed it is. You know that. Yes. You know that. Yep. Uh, you can take it easy for a couple of days, but boy, that's going to be it. And then you got to hit the ground running because Costa's got more money than God, and uh, he's got all the wherewithal to fight this tooth and nail. You think you're going to be up for it? I know I'm up for it. I am. Um, this this district needs representation, and that's why I'm running. And mm -hmm. it, we just haven't been represented for a long, long time. And you know, I've said it over and over. I'm mad. This is not a position I ever dreamed of, of going for. Mm -hmm. It's just we need to be represented in the 20th district. When did you decide that you wanted to do this? And what were the circumstances? Well, it was in October is where I finally, you know, I had I had people come to me and ask me. You know, we've been at many of the water rallies. We've been to the tea parties. And, um, and I had people come and ask me. And I was just, the, the more I went to the water rallies and the more I went to the tea parties and learned more and more. And then I'd see the actual things going on. I mean, when I saw people I knew by name standing in food lines eating Chinese carrots, I mean, Ooh. I just... That breaks my heart, and it makes me very, very angry. Did you, by any chance, attend the, the water rally April last year after the water march with the governor at the reservoir? I was at the San Luis Reservoir yeah. when the governor did not turn on the pump. Yeah. Yeah. I, was, that changed I, wasn't, life. I wasn't there for the, the march, but right. I was there for that last day. Right, right. And, um, you know, I had my sign. I still have my sign. Right. And, uh, that whole episode changed my life. I mean, yeah. it, just, it just redirected everything that I do to... Uh, focus on water, and that was a turning point for a lot of people, and that, I'm not putting words in your mouth, but maybe that had a little bit to do oh, with Oh, absolutely. Well too. I mean, you guys did a great job of covering it and starting it, right? I mean, you did an awesome job. You know, I was at, uh, I was part of the rally that went up to George Miller's office. We took 22 busloads of people up there. I was up there two days prior looking to see where we are going to unload everybody. That was the first time I really got behind a microphone. People asked me, hey, why don't you say a few words, and we were talking to the protesters on the other side who were part of a union who actually agreed with a lot of us, and they were just there to hold up a sign and stand. We, we, we turned a lot of them yeah, on our side. Half of them didn't even know why they were there. Exactly. It's usually the case. Yeah. Usually the case. How are you sitting for money? We have done very, very well. You know, this is, um, it's trying times. The 20th District is very poor. Uh, a lot of the, the big business and, and agribusiness has been hurt because of the Congress-created drought. But uh, we're doing well. We're hitting our numbers, the, the numbers that we thought we needed to do. Of course, we can always take in more. I've been on the phone this morning. I'm still raising money. I mean, there, there are no two days off or one day off. I mean, I've been on the phone this morning. I've been talking to a lot of guys down at Kern and uh, up here. I'm setting up meetings. We're, we're, we're working every day this week, but as, as we have been since October. Do you think you'll have support from your uh, two former opponents? Absolutely. I know you will from Sarah, but I heard from him this morning, and he said, he's in. Absolutely. He's in all the way. Yeah. No, they're both great guys. They, yeah. they have great points of view. Um, they, they ran good campaigns, and um, I'm very happy to have their support. Yeah, it was a very gentlemanly race. I mean, well, it, we're all good guys. It, well, you're all focused on a common goal. Absolutely. Which, that kind of told us all of the sincerity involved with all three of the candidates there. Mm-hmm. But this is going to be a heavy-duty race, I'm telling you. I just, I can't, I cannot wait to see what the other side is going to do here. But it's, it's, it's not going to be pretty. You better make sure all your parking tickets are paid, and you're paying your bills on time, because it's all going to come out. Yes, it will. <laughs> yes, yeah. it will. Yeah. All right. Well, um, now that.